Oh, you got Poot and the Cat here laying on my leather jacket. You're laying right on my cooter patch, buddy. <laughs> putting these uh, cooter patches on my leather jacket. One of these. I was putting them on the uh, cooter's garage. I was putting them on the t-shirts, the sleeveless t-shirts with the pocket, heavy-duty co uh, cotton. And uh, put one up here in a leather jacket. Hey, buddy. Come on. Hold on a second. Yeah, here. Here. There you go. <laughs> right there. <laughs> so he likes laying on this thing, though. So it looks pretty good. He's got a black leather jacket with, uh, you know, orange and it's kind of like the Harley Davidson colors, right? Which isn't popular with millennials anymore. Anyway, you know that deal. But uh, yeah, I, they're, 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 these things are pretty cool. So I like them. And uh, yeah, I guess you could put a Confederate flag. I don't know. Somehow I like this. I was always into mechanics, and even when I was going to college, well, actually, I guess since I was 17, I owned a car, and, you know, back then, you really couldn't bring your car to a mechanic, so you pretty, pretty much had to learn how to do, fix everything, and then after a while, I started figuring out that the mechanics wouldn't even do the stuff right, you know, they would do it all half-ass, and they're too lazy to read the book, you know, that was another thing, <laughs> so, uh, you know, me being a person that just pretty much read the book, well, I did read the book, but, well, certain, certain cases, the book don't tell you everything, but you really got to go by the specifications, I should say that. The book don't tell you every little mechanical trick out there, because there's a lot of MacGyver tricks out there that pretty aren't, are much unwritten. But uh, I like having these patches on there, because, uh, I don't know, I'm just a DIY mechanic type guy. And uh, I've been put. I uh, put these on four T-shirts already. Got and also this leather jacket. And so I got three more left. I don't know if they can go on something else, but they might. They might. Anyway, hats off to Cooter. <laughs> it's kind of like an indirect Confederate thing, I guess you could say, an a blake Confederate thing. It's kind of like a Southern thing, you know, NASCAR. Uh, people, you know, in a backwoods mechanic that really knows how to. Uh, make the car run really good to keep one step ahead of the revenuers the revenuers whatever you want to call them because we're running moonshine oh wow i should have lived on my, i'd live a little bit on that because you know everything today is kind of like upside down compared to what it was because back in the you know when they're running moonshine back in the 1920s and the early 30s and 40s and even the 40s right 50s um the federal government wasn't as heavily as funded as it is today um, you know, the joke was back then, uh, the revenuers were driving like standard cars that weren't hopped up. They were like just running a mill, freaking average cars. They weren't even like the best, they were nowhere near the best engines. And here the moonshiners are running cars that were, you know, the best engines, plus they were hopped up. And, you know, basically that's kind of reference to the Cooter's Garage because Cooter's Garage and at Duke's a hazard. And I figured he was a mechanic, not just fix, fixing all the Roscoe P. Coltrane's cars and uh, uh, Deputy Anus Straight, you know, which has always got wrecked, but also the Dukes of Hazard car. But he figured he was a mechanic for the Moonshiners. I think that's all where, you know, the whole, uh, you know, mystique of this, you know, the backwoods southern mechanic knows his crap. But back then, you got to figure this. People that were running moonshine had enough money to put the best race, in, race engines in their cars and stuff but the feds hardly had any kind of money to get anything really hopped up right so that's why they couldn't catch them and the backwoods guys that were tasked with hopping up the feds cars were uh, told they, they actually didn't give them all the specialty that they gave to the moonshiners like they gave preferential treatment to the moonshiners right but today today with all the damn money the federal government got, man, they, they'd hire a rocket, they'd get a rocket ship on four wheels, and if you're a moonshiner, and even if you didn't have, uh, they didn't have all this uh, track by satellite and, and uh, helicopters and drones and all this other garbage, uh, you know, the type of money the Fed got today, they, they could afford a rocket ship on freaking four wheels, and they'd catch you in two seconds flat. That is why I'm going to tell you guys out there in uh, YouTube land, pay as little tax as possible. As a matter of fact, well, if you're not in Tennessee and you buy any of this stuff from Cooter's, Cooter's Place, like these Cooter's Garage, place, uh, garage uh, 
patches since he doesn't have a sprick and stick store outside well he's got one in Virginia and Tennessee so if you buy something outside of one from one of those other st state like South Carolina North Carolina Georgia Florida Louisiana Texas or whatever New Jersey even or Pennsylvania no sales tax don't feed them freaking crooked government bastards man I'm telling you, man, they are the biggest crooks going. So anyway, that's a little bit of an ad lib later add-on addition to this. But I'm glad I put this on here because I like how it looks. I don't know, I just kind of like that mystique of the southern redneck mechanic that knows his crap. And, uh, you know, he knows better than his jackass. He's like Smokey Eunuch. Remember that guy with the hat? He was the guy that really developed the Chevy small block for racing. Never had an engineering degree, ever. I think he was just a high school graduate, but he knew his shit. 